To write the formula for Cr2SO4-3, we first need to recognize that chromium, this is a metal, it's a transition metal, and then SO4, this is a polyatomic ion. We have three of them. So because we have this transition metal and this polyatomic ion, which is a group of nonmetals, we're going to treat this as an ionic compound here and use these rules to write the name. First, we write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. So for Cr, that's chromium. Next, we'll write the name for the polyatomic ion. So you either remember that SO4, that's the sulfate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So far, we have chromium sulfate is the name for Cr2SO43. But chromium, that's a transition metal. So we need to write down the charge for chromium in the name. We know that the sulfate is 2 minus the whole thing. 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. So if we want to get 6 plus, so these two charges give us a net charge of 0, chromium is going to have to be 3 plus. 2 times 3 plus gives us the 6 plus. So this 3 here, we're going to write a Roman numeral 3 in the name to show the 3 here. So the name for Cr2SO43 is chromium 3 sulfate. And the 3, that comes from up here on the chromium, each chromium. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.